Okay, so we saw that work is only done on an object if the point of application, which is where the force is applied on that object, work is only done if that point of application displaces. Okay? So let's consider some exa this ex exercise 9-1. For which of the following forces is the force displacement non-zero, not zero? Okay, the force exerted by a hand compressing a spring, that is non-zero, definitely. Uh, if you consider a spring and you apply the force, the, the point of application moves. Okay. What about B? The force exerted by earth on a ball thrown upwards, yes. Um, this is non-zero because the, the gravitational force by the earth moves with the ball. It's always being applied to the ball. So definitely. So the point of application of the force of gravity um, is at the ball, which moves. Okay. C, this is an interesting one. The force exerted by the ground on you if you jump upwards. So is the force displacement that point of application? Does the point of application move? when you jump up? The answer is no. So even if you jump up, the point of application is the ground and the ground doesn't move. And then uh, finally D, the f if you're in an elevator and the elevator is moving downward, okay, what um, is the force displacement so the force exerted by the floor of an elevator on you as the elevator moves downward at a constant speed, is the force displacement non-zero? Yes, because if you're moving down and the, there is the force um, is pointing upwards, but the point of application is moving down. So yes, the point of application is on the floor, which moves. Okay, so you'll see that this is actually related to work. If, if the force displacement is non-zero, then it means that work is done, either negative work or positive work. Okay.